to make sure. I have to make sure. Oh, okay. Don't people say what's up, but it's what I do. For the people out there, tell us a little something about yourself and your movement, man. Uh, I go by Honest, and uh, I represent Stay Humble Entertainment or whatnot. And uh, we basically uh, we moving strong, trying to pump out that good music, man. Quality music, quality over quantity every time, Ooh. every single time, man. You always choose quality over quantity. So just basically, man, trying to keep um, you know keep relevant, man, and keep consistent. Well, how would you actually describe your music? Uh, your style of music. What is your style of music? Well, I would say, well, I I do hip hop. I'm a hip hop mm -hmm. artist. I also produce too. Okay. And um, but lately, and, and lately, I've been trying to get, I've been getting into like a lot of harmonizing and under the melody act. I'm, I'm under that act. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Trying to see what that, what that do under the artist act or whatnot. But I would say new school notation, old school foundation. You know what I mean? I like when I started when I started doing hip hop. I came up in hip hop. I've been around this since I was like in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. I used to be around all of the <coughs> mama groups and <coughs> hip hop groups, break groups, all you know, all the, all the guys that was the three nine nine crew, Buck crew, all of them mm -hmm. back in the day. So I, I came up under it, <coughs> and I would say like, man, my favorite artist is Nas. So mm -hmm. I draw like a lot of stuff from him, and he like my main inspiration. So like I draw a lot of stuff from the nineties era, and I try to you know make it relevant now. All right, he he one of my favorite artists. What's your favorite Nas album, man? Turn. I would go with it was written all the way through. Mm -hmm. It was written. I mean, we hear that you are actually described as a lyrical genius. Lyrical genius? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just telling you what we hear. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, okay, that, that's great. <laughs> would you, I mean, agree and say, hey, that's just how you roll? I mean, I take pride in what I do. Mm -hmm. I definitely. I guess it's the humbleness in you that's, you know, what yeah, I mean, being with humble entertainment, you yeah, know, I that's mean, just I'm, making you not. I mean, I would say that yeah. I, I am, I am, I am, I am a real modest, humble dude. I will say that. Mm -hmm. But, <clears throat> no, nah, um, no, nah, I, you know, I do take pride in what I do, man. I go mm -hmm. hard, you know what I mean? I feel like you ain't got no integrity and, you know, not really trying to, you know, put any passion in what you're doing and it's not really no purpose. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's the whole purpose of life, you know? Yeah. Getting out the passion. Getting the best out of things. So tell us about, about your uh, mixtape series, On the Contrary, Volume 1. Okay, yeah, On the Contrary. Uh, I did the first one last year, it came out. I did it with um, JL and DJ Illa. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was pretty cool. He had he had mixed it in. It was a blend of some old school. And, you know, he, he mixed it in with the uh, new stuff I did. But this time I didn't use no DJ. I just went in with some, some classics like Gotham City and mm -hmm. the Chronic Intro. Nah. You know, and, <laughs> Master I see Mike Geronimo, like you know a lot of them, you know what I mean. So I just did went in over them because I, I, know, I, I the, on the contrary is really for when I want to rap, when I just want to just spit bars and mm -hmm. get my old to hip hop. Mm -hmm. So that's really what the on the contrary series is. It's just an old to any like hip hop or any like. Cause the next one I'm gonna do on the contrary volume three is gonna be like a, a lot of jazz and stuff. stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm like the uh, Ty Kia from Fake Show. He sent me like some. Stuff from Lonnie Liston and Grover Washington, so I've been listening to them grooves lately, man, trying to find, like, you know, where I'm going to go with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds hot, though. I mean, it's, it feels like you're definitely thinking outside of the box. Uh, yeah. You seem like you aim to be different yeah. and to be unique, and I think that's very hot. Yeah. That you, you know, you I, have it. You dug deep and grabbed back, you know, pulled up some older, you know, beats and, and sounds. Because, man, I, I feel like, I mean... Like, like I said, like it's new school notation because I'm aware of everything that's going on like mm -hmm. as far as like my generation and what's going on, you know what I mean? Cause I'm 25, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm aware of what's going on presently. But, you know, I can, that's, I'm very aware of that, but I just feel like they need to be aware of what's, what happened then because they right. made what's going on now, you know what I'm saying, even possible. You know I mean? Do you think uh, some hip-hop is watered down? You can say it, man. I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think like, no. I mean, I, what, high hip hop is definitely watered down. So. Mm -hmm. But I feel like commercial hip hop, man. I feel like they only pumping out what they want you, to, what exactly, whatever you know, what they want you to do. You know what I mean? Like whatever the agenda they have. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever it is. You know what I mean? That's what they're doing. Whatever right? seller, you know what a saying? single, right. whatever they song. You know what I'm saying? But underground, man. 
hip hop is alive and well. Like it's roaring. You know what I mean? Like man, it's a lot of hit. It's like underground. It's a lot of crit, Gibbs. Uh, uh, man, I can't. I can keep going. You know keep what I mean? going. Like, but them, was, <laughs> them is two of my like favorites. Trent Gibbs, Cole. Before he got, you know what I mean. Started rocking with Hope. You know what I'm saying? Him. Uh, Lamar is cold. You know what I mean. I'm not. He's not a favorite, but he's cold. You know what I mean. He's definitely good for hip hop. Uh, Pac Div. You know what I mean. Rocky been doing his thing from here. Shouts to Rocky, man. He uh got that shout for Double uh, XL and Brandon Deshay too. Oh, man. Brandon Deshay too, man. Uh, Brandon Deshay gonna have a couple of joints on Honest Living too, but. Shouts to them two cats. But yeah, man, hip hop is ruining. It's alive. Don't uh, don't let mainstream, you know, what I'm saying? straight. That's good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've heard several other artists or guests say that too. That underground, underground. Yeah, underground is. Man, when you all gonna come up to the surface? When they, man, <laughs> when they realize, when they realize it's the real, and that's what they need to be. They do. With. You know, I, I definitely I think more people should give people or you know credit true artists, yeah. hip hop artists more credit in um, but you guys it's gonna happen it's gonna come yeah. to life all together but I think that some people should like you said step outside of the mainstream and say hey shed the light on the true underground hip-hop artists and um, let them just breathe let them come yeah. out let them blow up you know even though you guys are but show it to the world right you know we want to see what's going on there's a lot of people out there who think true hip-hop don't exist, exist yeah, no more like, yeah. so when you guys come up to the surface as far as to the entire world mm -hmm. it's gonna be like a it's gonna be like Christmas. it's like a, like a tsunami or something <laughs> right. like a big wave like dang we ain't know all that was going on right it's gonna be a huge explosion <laughs> yeah. so. but like 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 you was saying earlier though man ain't nothing new under the sun man you know it's it's a full circle you know what i mean just like mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's crazy how hip hop does that though, because it goes through its stages like that. Like, it go, it'll go through a, a silly stage, mm -hmm. and then it'll go to like a real stage, or it'll go to like something inspirational type of stage, and then it'll go to a party stage. Or, you know, it's like it all, it does that. So, I guess, I don't know, I'm not really sure. I guess it would say we in a party stage right now, or what, I don't know mm -hmm. what stage we in right now. Uh, but is there such thing as some people are in the a shit stage? <coughs> oh, man, you know, some, people, some people are uh, permanently. Uh, stage, some stage. people need that's to call that number on the Everest College commercial. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's real. Man. Oh, that's hey, I, 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 man, I be on Twitter sometimes, man. I know that I, I go on my rent. I go on rent sometimes. It's at Clever Leonis too on Twitter, man. But um, I go on a ride. You know, I be like, man, like. Don't waste time, man. You know I mean? <laughs> at the end of the day, all you have is all you have is time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In life, that's all we have is time. You know what I mean? Like, if you're doing something, man, and and it's not coming out, you know what I'm saying, good, or if it's not really coming, or people not taking to it how you think they should, or or however, like, don't waste time, man. You know what I mean? Like, you can cultivate stuff and make sure it's good as much as you can, but if you're doing that and it's not working, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You got some, another option might have to, you know what I mean? You like, gotta tap out. Sometimes yeah, so, you gotta yeah, tap out. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a mission, man. Hey. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, I think full, I think it'll come around full circle. Like like J. Cole selling him selling good, mm -hmm. I think that, that did good for hip hop. Mm -hmm. Like it had like people who love hip hop and like love lyrics and you know, like the essence of hip hop, you know, mm -hmm. just that did that did good. Him selling good, that that opened the gates for like, you know, for people like Lamar. Or you know what I'm saying, spitter, or people just people who just be you know rap and go in, you know what I'm saying? Right. So. That's what's up. So where can fans actually find you? On Twitter, Facebook? Uh Twitter well my Twitter and Facebook is the same thing. It's cleverly honest. Uh C L E V U R L Y O N I S. And uh I'm working on my website now, honest to God dot com. That should be up in like the wow. next next month or so. What's behind it? Besides your name? Honest, how honest, did you come up with that? Honest, that name? I, I, honest, uh, it came up, man. It was extra random, all cause I used to rap with this, um, I still do, but I, I used to uh rap with a group called um, Squad D. Mm -hmm. That's why I originally um, started rapping with. And uh, I man, when I first started rapping, I had so many names, man. It was, I don't even want to go with some of the names, <laughs> <you know, laughs> some, some of the names that I had, man. You know what I'm saying? But I just sat down with that, like, man, I need to come up with like a real name. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That I could use for real, and I was just like. Honest. And how did you come up with honest? I mean, and it's spelled O N I S, people. How did you come up with the name honest and the spelling? Well, it was, I came up with the spelling 
Cause I just want I didn't want it to be like honest, like you know what I mean, right. just like honest. Like you know how Fab came with the he switched it up with the O, you know what I mean? Common did regular common. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, okay, honest. E E and I I guess can sound the same sometimes. Mm-hmm. Take off the H and the T. Honest, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As, it, it came just like that. It wasn't really nothing, just was you no know, epiphany or nothing like that. It wasn't mm-hmm. nothing like that. It was just like just like that. Then I I just built it off honest, like honest living, honest to God, mm-hmm. honest days work. I just I just built off of it, like built it, like try to build a brand off of it somehow, like. And then I'm an honest dude anyway, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm true, like I tell you, you know what I mean, you what it is. If terrible. You know what I'm saying? If I tell somebody if they're white, <laughs> yeah, I would tell people if they're white. Yeah, <laughs> people need that. There's too many ass people out there. There's too many people like, yeah, that was hot. Oh shit! <laughs> I mean, then you, so, then, so then some people, some sometimes some I feel like some people will tell some people, you know, that stuff is good. Mm-hmm. Just you know. Yeah, hurt their yeah, for the feeling saver, the savoring of feelings, basically. Yeah. Because you know what I mean. I mean, cause some stuff be you know some stuff just be like blatant, like. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, okay, I for sure. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people going off of it, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I mean, whatever. You know, I'm going to keep doing me. Oh, <laughs> Watch out for honest people. If you got what you don't want to perform nah. around. Oh, no. Nah. I mean, I, I, support, I support Chicago, though, man. There's yeah. definitely some people on Rocky in Chicago. Hey, definitely. So, if that, if you, say you can pick three people in the game, on and not on, who would you want to work with? Like, off the top of your head. Uh, Ryan Leslie. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to work with um, Organized Noise mm-hmm. and uh, Yay. So what's up? You heard it right here on the Jay Davis show. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yay. Definitely want to rock with Yay, man. The beats is crazy, Joe. Yeah. Insane. You can do so much to flow. Oh, yeah. What, Jay-Z even had that concert um, a couple weeks ago? Yeah. They performed niggas in Paris like 20 times. Yeah, right. I heard they did like eight times. They performed... <laughs> We did it 25 times this time. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I barely want to hear it on the radio eight times in a row. But when, I, when I first heard the album, I listened to that album. I listened to it like a lot of times. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, yeah, it's definitely a good album. I like the, the cut they have on Frank Ocean too. Yeah, yeah, the, the intro. Yeah, yeah. The, the black excellence. The murder excellence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you got any shows coming up? Uh. As of now, you know, except for the one um, next month mm-hmm. with the Connect Four. Um, okay. That's a, that's like a monthly or bi monthly okay. event that we're gonna be doing. Stay humble, and T. Okay. Uh, so. That's what's up. Other than that, nah, I I keep y'all informed. Alright, yeah, let us know. Mm-hmm. Send any new music to send it um, to our program director. Shout out to Contest too, by the way, Marcus. Yes. On the contrary, Volume Two, man, y'all go grab that. Uh, oh yeah. Real. Honest Living for the drop next month. <coughs> Don't forget. And um. The orientation, I'm gonna drop something too in like two weeks called the orientation. Mm-hmm. It's just like a little, it's like an unofficial LP, like an EP or something. Okay. I'm gonna just throw that out there just to warm people up. Just like something similar to On the Contrary, just to warm people up for Honest Living. Because Honest Living came up, that's like a, it only, that's like only like 11, 12 songs on that, man. I've been doing it for like two years, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like a game, so I did a, it's good songs I never recorded. Mm-hmm. Good songs I recorded, it ain't even on there, but like, Orientation is like some songs that was cool enough. I felt like I could get to people just to, to warn the people of honest living. So, stay humble and humble. Appreciate y'all, man. It's cold ass weather, but we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come right back to the more Y'all know it's Revolutionary, so apparent 